Good morning everybody. Roxanne from Tiny Home Living here. I didn't have my camera with me, when I, but I went out to check on the chickens. So I just want to show you what I found. Um, before I do, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video with your family and friends. We really appreciate it. Um, I went to see what the chickens were up to. Look in the nesting boxes, of course, because I can't help myself. And there was one chicken in one of the nesting boxes, so we haven't let the chickens out, but somehow we have an escapee. She wants back in, but every time I try and open the door for her, she runs away. She clearly wants to be with the other chickens. Now, Chris thinks we should let them out to roam. I think um, they should be kept in for a couple more days, but um, they're gone now. Seriously, there was one chicken facing this way and one ch chicken on top of her facing the other way. And look at you, sweetie. Are you going to make another egg for me? So there's three in there, two in there. And this girl, now look at this one lining up again for the same nesting box. That's the first time I actually got... <laughs> but I wish I had the camera with me to get a picture of the one chicken facing this way, the one chicken facing the other way on top of her. And she wasn't even trying to throw the chicken off. So, totally weird. Are we going to let them out today? Okay, I guess we're letting the herd out. That'll make the little lone chicken out here happy. But I uh, can't figure out how to get back in. Look at your friends are coming out. Now you don't have to be so confused. She's, she's looking up at the nesting boxes. <laughs> Did you want to go in there? Maybe that's why she wants back in so bad. I couldn't catch her though. Do you think so? Hi, the one that just went in or the one that's on the... Hi Hazel! Chris thinks this is Hazel. Here she goes. She wanted in. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Mm, mind that. <laughs> Look, so is this not like the stalls? Lining up for the stalls at the stampede? They're all lined up at the same nesting box. Oh, that one's going to go over. She's like, I can't wait. But this one is still waiting at the nesting box. I just thought that was so strange. Uh, maybe these ones are staying in because they need to lay eggs. I don't know. I hope so. I hope they're going to start laying in here. I think it's time for the farm hand to get some poop cleaned up. So yeah. You know when you're standing at the stall and someone's taking too long? Oh, now she's telling her, hurry up. Hurry up. One spoke to fall out of me. So now I've already lost count. <laughs> I think there's five or six in there already. One's obviously laying, and two are lined up. Oh dear, I think that's so funny. I wish I had got, could have gotten uh, some video of that one chicken laying on top of the other, though. It's happening now, I'm sitting in the corner. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. She was sitting down there. Huh. Chris found one sitting in that corner where the... Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. They knocked the screen out and they're just using the... <laughs> she actually squatted down and let Chris pick her up. The other ones are so flighty. Good girl. <laughs> 
So somebody, um, he found one again down in the corner there. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, I think it was the one that he just picked up, Hazel. So he's going to try. Obviously somebody was in that box, um, but no egg. And uh, so he's going to put Hazel, put Hazel in the nesting box. Look at this, the, the one's still in there and the, this one's waiting for that box girl, instead Hazel. of just going into an empty one. So funny. Somebody has to get some poop cleaned up. Yuck. I don't want to mention any names. That's a blue job. <laughs> Definitely a blue job. I mean, I would do it if I had to, but... Should I? Ah, oh, there they go, onto the sea container. Oh. <sighs> we'll see if there's a dozen eggs today. Because there was a dozen yesterday and a dozen the day before. So, if I don't get a dozen in the nesting boxes, they get locked up again. Till the warden gets her dozen a day. <laughs> They're doing, that's the clucky thing. Chris just put Hazel in the favorite nesting box, so we'll see if that works. Silly. Well, again, like, doesn't take much to get me excited and doesn't take much to amuse me. Oh, that would have been so funny to get footage of that one chicken on top of the other, though. It's like, I'm not waiting for the stall anymore. I'm just coming in and going to park my head on your butt on your head. Anyway, that was funny. First order of the day is coffee. I haven't had my coffee yet, but um, I have got to make up my mind what I'm going to make today. I think kombucha and the zesty zucchini relish. Got to get that done because I bought the peppers and stuff for that yet, and I'm pretty sure I can find 12 cups of zucchini. <laughs> So I think that's what I'm going to do today. It's going to be even hotter than yesterday, unfortunately, but I'm so glad we got that um, fence done. And even if Chris doesn't get the gate done, the board is up so the chickens can't get in there. So that's just awesome. Won't lose any more stuff to them. So, going to get busy. Um, might get another video loaded. No end of things to do. I just came out to help Chris uh, feed the hose through the fence um, to get the sprinkler set up. <laughs> it's really hot again today and uh, unfortunately we're dragging the air conditioner out of the sea can, the storage, and putting it back in the tiny house. It's just going to be so hot today and it's already hot and I haven't even turned the stove on. So while I'm out here... I'm going to check for eggs, of course. What do we got? There's two in there. One in there. Three in there. Oh, and three more in there. So that's six, seven, eight, nine already. Oh, is there one in the dirt? I don't know if there's one in the, in the nest or not. I have to check. Oh, my goodness. Well, I wonder if we should put a nesting box down in the ground then. Oh, yeah. No. Nope. Not one in the nesting box, but that is the third time a chicken has laid an egg in there. So, I think it might be better to move this nesting box down into that corner. Because that's just plain silly. So, I think what I'm going to do is take this egg and put it 
in the nesting box because again they get so dirty um, and they're so clean when they um, are laid in the nesting box. So I'm going to put this one in here like Chris did yesterday and see, hopefully that will help. So now I've already forgotten how many are in the um, nesting boxes. Um, my goodness. My goodness, I already forgot how many. So that's three and three, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's already 10 um, with the one outside. And I don't, it's about noon, I think. So yeah, that's uh, hopefully if we keep putting that one. There isn't any in these nesting boxes yet. So I guess um, if Chris keeps putting them in those nesting boxes, maybe that will help. Or maybe I should take one of each of the eggs from these nesting boxes and put it in the new ones. Maybe I'll do that. And then get him, when he hears one doing the clucky thing, to put it in the new nesting boxes. Get them using those. Again, I don't know if it was a good idea to let them loose when we're trying to train them to do this. But anyway, I'm sure I'll get lots of comments about that. We'll be like the crazy chicken people. <laughs> <laughs> I did say we don't know anything. <laughs> we're, we're learning and uh, yeah, we just watched some more videos about aggressive roosters. Mind you, Rusty's not, n not bad compared to um, some of the scary ones that you see in the videos. So, and, and really he is doing his thing. Like he's trying to protect the flock. I think it's usually when I get close to the girls or I'm trying to move them around or something. He thinks I'm threatening them, of course. So um, I am starting to sort of understand a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, so Chris has got the um, sprinkler on. He already had the sprinkler on the potatoes. I'm going to go back in, make my kombucha, and I think I'm going to make that um, zucchini. It's sort of like a zucchini pizza recipe for supper. So. Are you a happier boy now? Hmm? Are you a happier boy? I get such a big kick out of the fluffy bums on the hands. Their, feather, their feathers are so beautiful, the patterns and everything. I never spent any time around chickens in my life before. So, um, you know, like I say, Rusty's tail feathers are coming back in and they're beautiful. They're green and they're just so beautiful. So uh, we are going to hoping to keep a couple more roosters from the new ones. And again, um, you know, most people they want, uh, other than if they're for meat birds, they want um, more hens than roosters. And I think we got tons of hens again. I can only see two or three that I'm pretty sure are roosters. So. Anyway, it's going to be interesting, and I would really like a barred rock and maybe another one or two roosters um, for the flock. So this chick is going to come and peck my toes again. You little devil chicken, don't peck my toes. Much happier. Much, much happier that they can come out. They're going under the sea can, of course, to lay their eggs. <laughs> You heard that, eh? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go back inside and make my kombucha. We're going to hook up the um, air conditioner because it's going to be a brutal day and I think there's a few more to come. So get my kombucha made and then put in the fridge and maybe get that relish. Ah! Bee landing on me again. Yikes. My battery ran out again. I'm so glad I read the reviews on this camera and was smart enough to get a couple of extra batteries. I numbered them and I cycled them through so that I'm not using the same one or same two all the time. But um, I also um, read on a site yesterday what different herbs can do for the chickens and some of them actually repel pests and stuff. So, But um, I have some wilted basil that I picked 
uh, yesterday from that I needed for uh, supper. So I'm going to go put this in some of the nesting boxes because um, it said that basil has a calming effect on them. So I might better have the girls in like a spa-like environment with some calming basil while they're laying their eggs. I just thought I'd show you the greenhouse. Again, I gotta get these house plants uh, bushes planted. I filled up my pails with emergency water for when I come out here and I haven't remembered to give anything water, especially this little pepper plant. Of course it dries out. Still can't believe this little tree. But these were extremely dried out. But um, like I said, the blossoms, you can see where they're actually turning into peppers now. That one right there. And there was another one I saw that was clearly turning into a pepper. But this plant is going to be absolutely loaded as well with peppers. All of these are because there's so many blossoms. So that's exciting. The blossoms just popped a couple of days ago and now um, you can see the peppers unfolding. And this I haven't looked at in a couple of days since I picked those other ones and I think I'm going to pick some more of these because they're obviously ready. Now I forgot my little cutters outside the other day and I think I put them in the bucket of the tractor so I'm going to go get that. And again this is the thing um, as much as I try to show what we're doing and what's going on and the chores and that sort of thing. I don't have my camera in my hand every minute. Like we were actually going to get the air conditioner out because Chris needed help lifting it. And then he said the tree, the cherry tree out back didn't look too good. So then I thought, oh, I better check the greenhouse. So then I'm dragging hoses around in the heat and watering these. And you know, so again, um, you can't walk 10 feet without remembering something else that needs to be done and that's why <laughs> we get to the end of the day and we've only gotten two things done on the list. Now I really want to get my kombucha made and maybe even that relish but yikes. I really don't know. This is going to be again a brutally hot day and I don't know if I want to heat up the can or and do that. I might end up just making my kombucha and um, getting the canner out and everything processed and ready to just throw in the pot tomorrow. Um, but I don't know what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. And you can also see what I was talking about with this greenhouse frame. Like if you put two-way tape on here, I was saying glue, but if you put two-way tape on here and along here and sort of made, you know, windows out of two-way tape and then had put six mil poly on here, you've got, I think that's probably about three quarters of an inch. Um, space and of course you would have to do it with the ceiling and everything. Um, this is a bit of a debacle over here where we tied off the uh, shrink wrap but I think I would just go over top of it. Um, I'm not taking that all apart that's for sure. But yeah you can see um, and I <laughs> forgot we have a precious piece of OSB out there. My goodness that's worth a fortune now. So yeah, just put the two-way tape all the way along and take a few rolls of two-way tape. I already have some, um, but I think that might uh, make this a little bit more useful to get through uh, this winter and I'm willing to try. Like I say, it's not going to cost a fortune for the two-way tape and I think we already have six mil poly, but I think it might be worth trying. You know, if it gets me some peppers and, and um, herbs through the winter, that to me it's worth it. So it's not just the cost, it's being able to cook with fresh herbs and not having to run to town because you need one pepper for a stew, you know, that sort of thing. So um, thinking about that, but again, that's a month or so down the road, maybe two. So here I've been <laughs> getting my uh, bottles ready, the number of bottles I need to make a double batch of kombucha not realizing. No, I'm mixing it this week so it won't be ready till next week. So I will get a single batch made today, but I won't have a double batch till next week. So here I am getting my bottles all washed and this is the milk bottle I was talking about that I want to get uh, more of at um, the Italian store. And you know, the lid clips back on and uh, is reusable. So it's awesome. 
Um, so anyway, I was getting my juice out and uh, thinking I was going to get two batches this week, but that's next week because it has to ferment in those big jars with the Scooby-Doo that I got to split. Um, and another thing I wanted to mention, I love these um, wooden uh, corks that come with those gin bottles. Come on, sweetie. Um, but they, they do get uh, dried out, the wood gets dried out, just like your cutting boards and your spatulas and stuff that have wooden handles. So I always have some of this stuff, doesn't have to be this brand, but uh, a food grade um, product that you would put on your countertops, wooden countertops, uh, spoons, cutting boards, that kind of thing. So I'm going to treat these again because they're looking really dried out. The rubber part keeps coming out and I have to keep gluing it in, so I might look for some a glue that's a little bit better. They say Gorilla Glue will glue anything, but it ain't happening. So anyway, um, I'm going to make some more with my Hascap juice and the pineapple juice. Um, and I will have to wait another week till I have a double batch, but that's okay. Um, I'll get my SCOBY split up here and get um, two jars made, so I'm all ready to go for next week. So I've got my fruit juices. I've got uh, two with Hascap and two with pineapple again got my tea and water mixture with the sugar in it made enough for uh, that's only enough for one jar but um, I've got Scooby-Doo out of the jar, jar it was hard to get him out <laughs> I guess I'm gonna slice it through the middle this way so it sits on top of the surface even though the bottom is kind of slimy and the top isn't this is the fresh growth I guess on this thing so I'm gonna slice it down the middle that way like slicing a layer cake and put half. I'm leaving the ginger in this one. I might end up putting ginger in that one, but I'm not sure. But either way, I got to get uh, the SCOBY split up. I need a, a cup of this to put in each fresh jar and then the tea and water and sugar mixture in each jar. And then I'll have two batches for next week. So just wanted to show you Scooby-Doo. He's getting pretty big. So I sliced Scooby Doo be Scooby Doo halfway through um, the thickness. I took the slimiest part off the bottom. Now I'm just going to take a cup of the um, stuff from here, slime and all, put it back in there. The ginger's in that one, and um, so I've got a cup of this mixture that came out of the jar. In there, and put the cup in each one with SCOBY. And now I will put um, this bowl of sugar, tea, and water in the one, and I will brew another bowl for the second um, jar. And the rest of this will go in the bottles with the fruit juice. So that'll get me four bottles of kombucha for now. Well, I'm just waiting for my second batch of tea to steep. Make that second jar of kombucha. And there's no wind at all right now. And it's smoky from the fires. Um, Chris is checking for eggs. He's even more eager than me, I think, because he knows if there isn't a dozen eggs there today, somebody's going to get sapped. Did you check yet? So that means... <laughs> no, I think there might be a couple eggs. you got to shimmy under the sea container and get them. Hmm? What? Ah. I don't know about that. I think they're laid, but they're maybe under the sea container. Hmm. So... He's looking around in all their <laughs> spots that they lay in outside because he knows I'm going to be uh, whining and complaining if there isn't 12 eggs today. Now you can see they've pushed some of the straw out of that one. That egg is the one I put in there off the ground. That There's no stud in the wall so that's why he couldn't um, screw one to the wall down there. Uh, so you just set one there. These are smaller pots, but we're 
trying them anyway. Ah, <sighs> anyway, I might as well try, right? Anybody in the maternity department? Nope. So he says there's still 10 eggs. And he said that rather sheepishly. Because he knows. He's going to look through all their favorite spots right now. Because he doesn't want to admit that there should be 12 or 13 eggs today, I think. So, anyway, I forgot to bring something to put the eggs in. Two, four, five, six, seven. The two I put inside. Uh, the new, um... I put an, an egg that was in those nesting boxes in these ones here to see if that would help. They're gonna bonk their heads. But that's okay. I think these make awesome nesting boxes and I, I really hope they use them. Um, they're quite big. The little ones will maybe, they'll maybe like the little ones better because this is quite a bit smaller space than um, those ones. But these are lowered down and apparently that's a good thing. And because this shelf is up here, these guys can't get pooped on. So, anyway, <sighs> this heat just saps me. I've actually got to do the dishes now, piled up so much, and um, I think I might just do all the prep for the relish to get it ready to cook tomorrow. Hmm. So, we'll see. Anyway, that's 10 eggs for today. Not happy. Well, I finally got my kombucha done and in the jars. I can put it away till next week. And uh, <laughs> you can see how uh, the lines are almost precisely. I wasn't really being that finicky, but I am pretty um, OCD about measuring stuff too. So anyway, I've got two jars ready for next week. And I got some eggs out because I'm going to make this... Um, I called it zucchini pizza. He didn't put titles on his recipe, so I don't know if you guys can get a screenshot of that. But that's what I'm going to try making for supper. So I will let you know what it's like. going to make that for supper and do the dishes. Might not be any relish made. So this recipe that I'm calling uh, zucchini pizza calls for three eggs. So of course I'm using six of my little eggs. And it calls for 500 grams zucchini. And obviously this one is two and a half times that size. So I'm just going to cut off the piece that the devil chickens ate and feed them the scraps. So this is the smallest one I have. <laughs> so I don't really want to pick any more small ones right now. I just don't have room for them and I, and I can't use them right away. So I'm going to let them go a little longer. So I've got this zucchini mixture ready. It's the eggs, um, zucchini, garlic powder. It said dill and parsley. I went and got oregano and parsley out of the garden. That seems more like a pizza thing to me. Dill doesn't seem like a pizza thing to me. Ugh. Dill on my pizza. Anyway, I'm using fresh oregano and parsley out of the herb garden and a little bit of flour. It says I used almond flour to keep it keto. Chris probably won't like that, but anyway. Um, so now I just have to bake this egg mixture. I'm going to put it in the cast iron frying pan, bake it, and um, I see Rusty getting up on the picnic table again. Um, so you, t you bake it for 30 to 35 minutes and you take it out, put the spaghetti sauce on it, herbs, and I've got the herbs in there. It says herbs de Provence. And um, then you put slices of ham, tomato, and mozzarella on it. And you bake it for another 10 minutes. So I think that's going to be really good. So I got this, this part done. I gave the scraps from the zucchini to the little baby chicks. So um, I'm trying to make friends. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get this in the oven. We'll see what this looks like. So while um, that's in the oven cooking supper, 
Um, I just wanted to show you, I wanted to do it while uh, he was working on it, but now I don't know where it is. Chris was working on the gate. Um, oh, I should put this back. He was working on the gate for uh, a chicken run. Come on. These things kind of drive me bonkers because they don't, they always cover the, no, no more eggs. I hate to say it, but I might be right again. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you the gate, but I can't find it. Maybe it's in the workshop. He has to get the um, gate hardware. I'm just going to check on outdoor eggs while I'm out here again. What do you think, girls? Nothing? Nothing, nothing? Hmm. Pretty suspicious going down from 12 eggs two days in a row to 10, if you ask me. Um. <laughs> I don't know what he did. I was going to show you the gate he was building, but oh, here it is. Um. So he had gotten a couple spools of this wire when it was on sale. This gate frame I brought from my last place because, um, you know, why not? It, the new owner didn't want it. And this cutoff was just barely, it was like a foot or so bigger than this uh, frame. So he just has to get the hardware and he can put this gate on the garden. So I think that's pretty awesome again. You know, he had bought this, the spool of wire on sale. And um, so that's a gate for practically nothing again. Like the other one to the chicken run, we need the hardware, but um, pretty cheap gate, bunch of garbage used stuff. So um, once again, like I said, I mean, I was moving a whole sea can down here and a truckload of stuff and everything. So why not just throw it on, right? We've done that with so many things. But, and he did find another one of those big tree pots up in the shelf in the, um, shed. So made another um, nesting box out of that. So he didn't have to use all this plywood um, for the nesting box, which means it'll be used for another project. So I think that's great. I, I can't say enough about that, you know, and I guess it's because, you know, we grew up so poor. Uh, my mom really didn't have two nickels to rub together and um, she didn't let that bother her. She was, uh, she worked hard, and um, and uh, she always joked that if you keep something for seven years, you'll find a use for it. <laughs> she said that all my life. So uh, I guess I've really gotten a lot of that from her. So I got this out of the oven after half an hour. I'm just going to spread. The guy in the video spread ketchup on it at this point in time, and I thought that was really gross. Um, so I've got some spaghetti sauce. I'm just going to spread it on. Um, I would put a little bit more on normally, but I really don't want to open another jar just for this. So I'm just going to put this much on. And if it really tastes that bad, like it needs more next time, I'll put more on. But um, it was this... Uh, Classico stuff, the sun-dried tomato. I um, guess I can't wring the jar out. So, um, just going to... I've got the ham and the cheese ready. So, oh, I don't have a tomato sliced. I guess i got to do that too. Um, he had a sliced tomato with the ham. So I'm just going to put these bigger pieces on and I'm going to keep the um, smaller pieces to make an omelette because this is like a smoked ham and, uh, that we got at Costco and uh, it's really tasty. So I'm going to keep the little bits and make an omelette out of them because I think that will be really good. So put the bigger slices on here. Yeah, here. <laughs> there's actually chicken pecking at the door for Pete's sake. Um, yeah, I think that's 
enough ham. So I'm just going to slice a tomato and um, then put the tomato and cheese on it. Okay, so I got a couple of Roma tomatoes sliced on there. Got the cheese grated. And um, just spread the... Doesn't look like enough cheese to suit me either, but that's okay. It's going to have to do. I'm not getting everything out to do some more. Looks pretty good. Oh, I might grate a little more. Holy smokes. I keep touching the edge of that frying pan handle and it is hot. Duh. Anyway, that's about ready to go in the oven. Looks pretty good already. So there you go. Supper's done. Really super easy. Messed that one up getting it out of the pan, but it looks pretty darn good. And I am starving. And somebody else wants to help clean up the scraps in the pan, don't you? You're such a good girl. And now I can turn the darned oven off. Well, I guess you should know what time of day it is by now. My favorite time of day. <laughs> that, um, what I called uh, zucchini pizza was really good. Chris liked it too. Um, it called for flour and I put almond flour in it. I forgot to mention that because um, I have fl almond flour for my keto recipes. Usually I don't like um, the almond flour. It's a lot more grainy than regular flour, but you couldn't tell in that stuff at all. So um, it was really good and we've got a second meal out of it. So, you know, that's like a small zucchini, three eggs, if you were using normal sized ones, um, a little bit of ham, couple of tomatoes and a little bit of cheese and it's two meals so again when you're not buying the zucchini you're not buying the eggs you're not buying the herbs um, makes a big difference and soon we won't be buying the tomatoes either so makes a big difference as far as um, you know being economical and getting a couple meals now I don't have to cook tomorrow if it's really hot which is nice might get that relish done that I didn't get done today. Oh, there's a bee buzzing around me again. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, I'm going to take one last look for eggs. I said to Chris, if there's only 10 eggs today and only 9 or 10 eggs tomorrow, they're going to get locked back in the run for a couple of days and see if we get 12 eggs again. And I asked him what the natural deduction from that would be, and he couldn't figure out what that would be. So, anyway, oh, nope, they haven't even been in the nests, you can tell by the straw, because I pushed the straw back in, and um, they're doing their little relaxing thing. They like this time of night, too, and um, they usually gather around here. You can see them eating a lot of bugs, which is nice. Um, we started to notice a lot of grasshoppers uh, when we were in the yard. Um, when they were locked up in here. So they obviously did make a big difference in um, eating the grasshoppers. And when we were up at Bob and Rita's, we were really surprised at um, how many grasshoppers uh, there were. And they were complaining about the grasshoppers, whereas we weren't noticing them here when the chickens were running free. So um, they really do take care of the grasshoppers and the bugs. So anyway, it is so beautiful out. No more eggs that I can see, so that's 10 today. Not happy. Not happy, girls. Hello? Nobody's paying attention. They're going to pay attention when they get locked on the run again. So that's it for me today. I am tired out. I got to go do some work on the computer, editing and organizing and uh, answering people's questions and inquiries. Um, so, uh, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video with your family and friends. I really do appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.